In this session, let's perform the database upgrade. We are currently in Oracle 11G and let's upgrade to Oracle 12C. Okay? So we need the necessary software, right? The software related to Oracle 12C are there on my software folder on my desktop. You see these two files? These two files are necessary for our Oracle 12C upgrade. Okay, since uh, software folder is already shared with the Linux operating system, so let's go to that folder. CD mount HGFS. Okay, let's see what are there. We have a folder called software. This is the folder name which is present on our Windows operating system. So let me go to software. And here we have these two files. These two files are necessary for our database 12C upgrade. Okay, I want to unzip to OPT folder. So let's go to OPT folder and let's see what is there. We already have a folder called database. So let me create one more folder. So mkdir, I'll say 12C. Okay. Now we have the 12C folder and now again let me go to mount HGFS and then here let's go to software and here we have those two files. Now let's unzip those files. Unzip. Now let's select the first file. Copy. paste and I want to unzip to opt slash 12c right so hyphen d slash opt slash 12c so now the first file is being unzipped so the first file is completed now let's unzip the second one so unzip Let's select this file, copy, paste, hyphen D, slash opt, slash 12c. And now the second file is being unzipped. It will take probably 3 to 4 minutes to unzip this. So let's wait. The second file is also complete. Now let's go to OPT folder and then let's go to 12C folder and let's clear the screen. Okay, clear and let's see what are the folders. We have a folder called database. Now let's go to the database folder and let's see the files. Okay, we have the run installer executable which we can use to install the software. Okay. If we want to upgrade our Oracle 11G database to Oracle 12C database, first we need to install Oracle 12C software, right? Once we install Oracle 12C software, then we will perform the database upgrade. The first step is to install Oracle 12C software, okay? Now, let me open a new terminal and then exhaust place so that I can open the graphical user interface and then here sh run installer. Now the Oracle Universal Installer will open. The installer has opened. Now here obviously if you want to mention your email ID to get updates regarding the security issues and other patches you can mention. Okay, so for right now, we will ignore this. Next, it says you have not provided an email address and asking if you wish to continue, say yes. But normally, if you are working in an organization, you provide your email address so that you get the update on the critical security issues. Okay, now here we will select install 
database software only we are not creating and configuring any database right now we are installing only the oracle 12c software okay so next and here we'll be performing a single instance database installation right that is what we are doing on our machine we are not installing any rack environment but in your organization if you are trying to install rack environment then you can choose these options so next and then here select the languages you want here i selected english next and here we are installing the enterprise edition okay you see oracle database 12c enterprise edition okay next and now you see here oracle base oracle base will be the same for all the database version even the oracle 11g which we installed the oracle base was the same it was u01 app oracle okay all the database versions will have the same oracle base but the software location will be different okay so where shall we install the software let's see if we have enough space on u01 so let's go here and let's see where we are we are in the root and then df minus h okay u01 use percentage is 64 percent available is 2.7 gig okay i think uh, 2.7 gig is good enough okay so since our oracle is a 12 so let's change that to 12 point one point zero okay that is where i want to install my oracle 12c software so click next it says insufficient disk space on this volume that means we don't have enough space on the u01 folder okay we thought the 2.7 gig is enough but it's not enough so let's go to disk one okay we have around 16 percent normally in organizations you will have lot of space so you need not worry but it's always better to check it okay so let's go to disk one so disk one okay and then click next it says uh, the path is outside the oracle base that's fine click yes it is asking us to provide the group which has privileges on the operating system so let's select o install o install o install o install o install click next and now it is performing the checks it is making sure that we have the necessary space and all the settings are right to install the software okay it says disk space is required is 6.4 GB available is 9.15 GB that's good source location database edition is enterprise edition software location is disk one app oracle product 12.1.0 okay that's good now click install and now the installation is started it will take at least 5 to 10 minutes to install the software it all depends on the performance of your machine so have patience and it will install okay installation is going on right now at 75 percent okay now it is asking us to execute some scripts so it is asking us to execute the script which is present in disk one app oracle product 12.1.0 and the script name is root.sh so let's go to the root and now here let's go to disk1 slash app slash product slash 12.1.0 okay i missed oracle okay cd disk1 app oracle product slash 12.1.0 okay now here we have lot of files and here you see root dot 
sh this is the one which we need to execute so dot root dot sh click y now let's see where our local bin directory is okay so I will open one more window and present working directory okay let's go to the root and we have the bin folder here which is slash bin so slash bin so we have successfully executed the root dot sh script okay now let's go back and say okay and the installation of oracle database was successful okay that's good now let's close this let's close this window so we have successfully installed the oracle 12c software now we need to upgrade our 11g database to 12c right yes okay now let's see our profile settings okay vi dot bash profile now let's switch to oracle entering the password and now opening the bash profile here you see the oracle home is set to 11.2.0 so now we need to change this to our oracle 12c location right so where was our oracle home it was in disk one app oracle product 12.1.0 that's our oracle home right so we need to change that and let's save that escape colon wq and now let's execute the bash profile dot space dot bash profile so it is executed now let's run the database upgrade assistant so it is db u a db u a means database upgrade assistant it is opening the database upgrade assistant has opened and now here we are trying to upgrade the oracle database right so we select this upgrade oracle database option so select next and here the database which we have is prod1 that's our database name right and the database version was 11.2.0.4.0 and its oracle home was in u01 app oracle product 11.2.0 this is the one which we want to upgrade to 12c so select that click next and now it's gathering all the database information so that it can perform a upgrade so now it's running all the prerequisite checks to make sure it has everything and it has necessary space to perform this upgrade so it's running this pre-upgrade utility okay now it is showing couple of information related checks and warnings okay here the warning says the resource limit uh, default has been changed to true that's fine and apex upgrade message if needed we can manually upgrade the oracle application express that's fine we need not worry about that enterprise manager repository okay that's fine it's saying enterprise manager repository exists that's fine if you want to remove we can remove but that's fine and uh, it says some other components will not be upgraded like OLAP catalog OWB which is fine okay and now click next one or more of the pre-upgraded checks on the database has resulted into warning conditions that require manual intervention it is required that you address the warnings as suggested before proceeding we already checked them and nothing of concern so just say yes here we have checked this option so that if there are any invalid objects in the database they will be recompiled and here the diagnostic destination we can change it or keep the same so we can keep the same 
not a problem. So click next. If you want to configure the enterprise manager database express you can. If you don't want you can uncheck this and it is running on the port 5500. If you want you can change that. So click next. And here it is asking us the option of if we want to move the database files as part of the upgrade and if necessary if you want to move to a new location you can select this and then specify the directory but since we can keep the files over there just uncheck that in the same way if you want to move the fast recovery area you can check this specify a different location and then move forward I don't need that I'm unchecking that so click next and now it is saying we have configured a listener in 11G if we want to move that to 12C. We want to move that, right? So I selected that and then clicking next. And now here it is asking us if we need to back up before performing the upgrade. Why? In case if the database upgrade fails, you have the backup copy to recover the database. Okay. It is strongly advised to take a backup before the database upgrade so that even if there is a upgrade failure you can recover the database normally in organizations you take periodic backups so you don't need to take before installation but if you have taken the backup maybe a week before it is really suggested to take the backup before the installation okay so it is asking us to mention the backup location if you want to change it you can change that and proceed since the backup has to be done first and then the upgrade has to be done it will take lot of time so here i will say i have my own backup and restore strategy but in organizations it is better to use arm and backup and take a backup okay for right now i will skip that and i will say i have my backup and restore strategy in case if the upgrade failure happens i will use my last backup taken okay so click next and then it shows the summary of all the options we have selected for upgrade okay so now let's click finish and now the oracle database upgrade process has started it is performing the pre-upgrade steps that's in progress right now now it is performing the database upgrade steps that's in progress okay the upgrade is completed it took almost two hours to complete the upgrade okay that's good let's check the upgrade results so we upgraded from 11.2 to 12.1.0 okay upgrade details okay everything was successful okay the necessary SP file has been created we have the listener running and a couple of parameters got changed the memory target was changed from this value to this new value so oracle 12c requires more memory that is why it increased the total memory size and the processors old value was 150 and the new value is 300 okay that's fine close we have successfully completed the database upgrade okay let's clear now let's log into the database sql plus slash s sys dba and now we are connected to oracle 12c you see oracle database 12c if you want let's check it out star from v dollar version it is oracle database 12c enterprise edition release 12.1.0.2.0 okay congratulations you have successfully completed the database upgrade